Hello and welcome back viewers to a, another excellent video here at Sage's Lightbulbs where today we'll be examining this uh, General Electric CFL which is completely encased in a traditional looking glass surround. Now first off we can see the ballast. You can even see the components inside of the ballast which is extremely unusual. There is a spiral in there, quite a large spiral actually and it almost looks to have kind of a conical shape. What also is interesting is that there's an obvious seam between the top and bottom halves of the bulbs, which is how they got it in here. And so this whole assembly actually wedges in the base of this envelope, and then they seal, apparently with heat, because that is like actual glass, they seal on this top bowl here and make it almost a standard shape. They have a nice frosting on this glass. However, I think it was a mistake to put it on the outside because as you can see there are scratches in it. Now on the side of the bulb itself they tell us that it uses 20 watts which is quite high and quite accurate. It is an extremely bright bulb. Uh, contains mer mercury plastic insulator. Let's plug it in. Okay viewers, now we are going to power on the specimen. Three, two, one. Alright, you can see that we have an instant start and a very purple start also, okay? It is an extremely long warm-up time on this bulb. I think it is just insanely mercury starved because look at that purple. And I'm guessing this probably helps to achieve the rated life of 8,000 hours. However, it still is an instant start, so that kind of negates any benefits there. So let's let it realize its full 20 watt potential here. Okay, so we return now to a very bright warmed up bulb. This is advertised to be 75 watt equivalent and it definitely is. Granted I just let it warm up for like three minutes but it does finally arrive at a very acceptable brightness which is something I think a lot of new bulbs miss the mark on and that is that they don't actually match the advertised replacement. As far as like color quality uh, it actually looks fine to me. There, there's nothing immediately wrong but it, it isn't amazing. I have regular CFLs that don't look like this in this bulb here that are more modern. I'm going to pay nothing for them. People are just giving them away now. But they have better quality light than this bulb does. And I think back in 2009 when this was first released or about then, I just don't think they had their phosphor formulations for the inside of the tubes perfect yet. And so uh, it, it leaves some to be desired as far as light quality. However, I think what really killed this is the fact that it is very expensive. I mean, the Amazon one right now is $23, $24, which is insane. And I understand that that's probably because they don't have many left and are just jacking the price in kind of a unique bulb. But uh, the reality is that these were never cheap and they never really will be. It's just a niche product. I'm sure this was advertised at people with tons of money and I'm sure they were not happy with how long it took to warm up. But really, if you're gonna leave this on for a long time, it is an excellent candidate and it also, much like an incandescent bulb, has quite good shine. Light shines in all directions, is what I'm trying to say here. Which is good, and a lot of LEDs miss that, and I'm sure this will last for quite some time, and dying it, if only they had put some more mercury in it. So, one more thing. It gets so hot. This bulb becomes intolerably hot. What, what's ironic about that is they always mark on the packaging not to put a CFL in an enclosed fixture, and that is exactly what they've done here. They have put this tiny little CFL package in inside a glass container, essentially, which is exactly what they warn against doing on the instructions of other CFLs. So I think that is poor design and will probably severely limit the life of the ballast. But, uh, you know, maybe they accounted for that. It has lots of area to radiate off of surface area, but it is so hot. I cannot hold the top. It burns me. Now let's weigh it. Um, stand alone, the bulb weighs. Uh, 3.4 ounces, which is respectable, um, but not in excessive. This is a huge three-way CFL. It comes in at 6.1 ounces. This is a little T8 tube, and it actually comes in at 2 ounces. So you can see that compared to a fluorescent tube, this bulb at 3.4 ounces, it's not light, and it's also not heavy, but I think the biggest thing that they did here that was good is they made it all out of glass. Here's kind of an equivalent glass CFL, but what's really different with this one is that the base is not made of glass, and I think that makes this much more appealing than this. 
Okay, viewers, so here you can see I found it on Amazon, in fact. Still for sale from the GE Lighting Store at an absolutely outrageous $23. They are still marketing this as a full-on premium product here. Interestingly, the only part of this bulb that is especially unique is that you can't see the spiral, and here they are advertising that there is a spiral, and as best I can tell, that's just a generic spiral that they put inside this bulb. Although, it does kind of confirm my suspicions that it has that curvature to the tubes there. You see that? Anyway, so they're saying, ENERGY SMART! A smart way to save energy, and a smart way to live, and a smart way to light. And they have all these new slogans now, which I think are just ridiculous. Energy Star Ready, save $44 in energy lasts for five years. And it says it's going to replace a 75 watt bulb. This is only 20. And I, this is one of the few CFLs where I genuinely, genuinely agree with that. This is 75 watts. It is bright. And we'll talk about that in a second here. 1,100 lumens. It's spot on for where it needs to be at a 75 watt. And uh, it has a life of 8,000, which I think is pretty good, especially considering that slow warm up, that would pretty much corroborate that. The only thing I don't like on here is uh, they say turns on instantly. Well, yes, it is an instant start, but it takes so long to warm up that I, I don't think they can say that really. And I don't like how they're just, this bulb will help you save money on energy bills. Well, that's really a generic statement written by somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. So maybe take that off of their GE. Now here we'll open our second one. Here's some of the comments here for this bulb on Amazon. And I think there, there's some, in, some um, insight can be gained by reading them. And that is that, if I can scroll. All right, so the first guy here, he's talking about books, OK? I don't know what the deal is. Coat of arms. Uh, this book contains the most simply <laughs> historical tree dye, uh, a treatise, a genealogical family name in the Brit. I have no idea who Edward here is, but he is in the wrong place, unless he got some really freaky stuff out of that light bulb package. Now this guy here, despite having the world's lamest title, White Light, <clears throat> he's t saying, uh, indicates that it has a natural look to it. In reality, it's bright, looks just like the long fluorescent bulbs from an old office. And I agree with that, completely. The, the, the phosphor in this thing, the phosphors are a letdown. I think it's a great bulb, otherwise they just didn't quite have the phosphors at an acceptable point at this time, and so the color and color rendering index is not that great. This guy actually says he's not using his $24 light bulbs because the light looked so bad. This guy had an issue with the slow warm up. Yeah, I don't think that deserves one star myself, but okay. And finally, this guy said, well, they both broke, and again, I think some of these guys are don't really know what they're doing here because he says, well, one light permanently has the halogen on. Well, th there's no halogen. These are CFLs. So I, I don't know. We got Edward talking about books and we got Mountain House <laughs> talking about halogens. So I think some of these reviews are a little unreliable. And also, they're all from uh, like 10 or more years ago. This is a little newer, but... I don't think they're selling many of these things, and I think the reviews are a little bit hokey. So, all right, that's my two cents there. Thank you, and we'll go back to the video now. So, to conclude here, uh, this is just really kind of a weird bulb. I love the package, uh, but it's not doesn't seem like a great idea as far as heat dissipation, and the startup time is absolutely horrendous. However, the brightness is great. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, now, these days, these are pretty affordable. Ba back in the day when they were new, uh, it was prohibitively expensive to most audiences. So, definitely an interesting try, although not an especially outstanding success. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you again soon.